How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Bill, and welcome back to UEFA Finals. You all are fantastic. I've had a great day. Um, quickly, guys. Um, so I'm gonna stop the video here just for a second, and I want to get you guys to sit comfortably in your chairs. Uh, so this is gonna be a different sort of video, and I feel as though this video kind of needs to be made. As I feel those that like there's some sort of misdelusion communication going on and a lot of suppression from the Chinese government. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, we are of course talking about the coronavirus that has supposedly infected nine to seventeen thousand people. And I'm saying nine to seventeen thousand people, as there's different sources of information from the Chinese government themselves that state different numbers. We're talking about the local newspaper that state different numbers. And the reason I bring this up is I feel that this subject in general is being suppressed and people are not like giving the true facts. Just like, um, I'll throw a similar incident in your face, um, the Australian bushfires. Uh, my friend um, lives in South Wales in uh, Campbelltown and uh, he states the uh, fire started around November, December uh, last year and um, you know, you, you didn't hear nothing about that. I mean, there's probably some uprising in Australia, you know, and the Australian government about that around that time. But, you know, like, um, worldwide, nothing. You, you know, nothing until, say, mid-January. And all of a sudden, you know, we had fundraisers going on. We had, you know, people, like, saying, oh, you know, we'll send over firefighters. Millions have been made, uh, raised for this, you know, this massive fire that's ripping through Australia. Yet, you know, come... You know, around November, December time, you know, no one, no one basically gave a shit until it became, to be honest, mass media and propaganda was hitting people like, you know, we're going to lose, you know, Australia. A lot of animals are going to die and have died because of this. And now it's kind of like the same similar situation with the coronavirus. You know, we had like, um, you know, numerous sources have said, you know, nine to 8,000 people have been infected, you know, over 100 people have died. Right here, I have facts for you. I feel as though out there there's a lot of misdelusion and a lot of, let's just say, to put it bluntly, like, face-to-face -face nonsense being put out there that media are covering, and it's just, I feel it's just false information. You know, I feel as though, like, the government are holding back on this, just like they did with the Australian bushfires, you know, like until mass awareness is made, they basically sit on their, to put it bluntly, their asses and do nothing. And we need to push this information out there to the mass media, something that the government are covering up because they don't want mass propaganda, mass panic. We need to be made aware of what's going on in China and we need to know the exact numbers that are infected, the amount of people that have been infected per day, the amount of deaths that have been done. People have families over there with the Chinese New Year that is going on. People have friends over there. We have a right as a civilization, as a people, to know what we can do to help these that are infected and those that are infected. The official numbers state 17,238 confirmed cases of the coronavirus. Over 2,858 people are infected a day. China rushed a hospital, as you are guys are aware of. It took them eight days to build this hospital. This hospital holds over 1,000 people. 1,000 people. You tell me, if this is just basic something that you can brush underneath the carpet, why on earth would you rush a hospital in the dire situation of the coronavirus? Why would you rush a hospital if mass propaganda wasn't there? Because the Chinese government know that this virus, this infection, is spreading like wildfire. I will leave a link to what the sources that I'm reading from. And this is updated daily. And I want you to do me the honours. Or do me the favour of push this video out. Push this link out to those people that deny that this virus is nothing more than a common cold. This here is facts. This here is the truth. This here is the confirmed number that people are infected. The government are hiding this from you because they don't want you to panic. The government are hiding this from you because it's censored information and they don't want outside help. They want to contain this virus and think they can do it themselves. Well, I'm not saying the government can't do that. Of course they can. It's their country. They can run that how they see them fit. 
But the fact that you're censoring your citizens from putting out the right information, and then on top of that, you lied. You lie to nations, telling them, oh, it's just, you know, a couple of hundred people are infected. You know, we've rushed a hospital in eight days because there's no more than a couple of thousand. You know, a couple of thousand being five. No, there's 17,000 people infected. Your hospitals are full to the brim. Full to the brim. The hospital you've just built that houses 1,000 patients is literally full to the brim. People need to be made aware of that, the nonsense that's going around on social media, the nonsense that's being put to the news and to the papers that what you're being fed is lies, non-stop lies by the government. And this needs to stop. We need to speak up as a nation of people, as a voice. Now, if I can take some examples here, one of which is the coronavirus, you ask yourself the question, you're sitting down there with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, just leaning back in your chair. Have the government ever lied to you? Have the government ever lied to you? For those conspiracy hard nuts out there, a lot of people believe 9-11 was an inside job. A lot of people believe that, and I'm not here to pro provoke fun at 9-11. A lot of people died that day. A lot of people died that day. And a lot of people are still dying from that day because of the fumes that was in the air, the dust particles around their lungs. Airy 51, the government denied that for years. The Roswell disaster. The government covered up and lied to you and told you it was a weather balloon incident. Ask yourself the question, will the government lie to me about the coronavirus? I'm going to read something here that got sent to me. Wuhan turns to social media to anger the vent of the coronavirus. Jinko was exhausted when he returned home after a long day at work at Wuhan's Palomori Hospital, one of the medical facilities designed to treat those infected with a new type of coronavirus in the central Chinese city. The 52-year-old cleaner said his hospital was overwhelmed by the sheer number of people seeking medical care. With doctors and nurses overworked and supplies simply running low or running out. Since the new virus was detected in Wuhan in late, in late December, nearly 400 people have died. More than 17,000 people are infected. The vast majority of the deaths infections have occurred in Hubei province, of which Wuhan is the capital. The rapidly spreading virus stretched the healthcare systems of in Hubei. With some medical personnel saying China's government was completely unprepared for the outbreak and describing the response as chaotic and desperate. But when Jinko turned on his television on January the 28th, he was greeted by television anchors hailing the government's transparent and swift response and the videos of Wuhan residents joyfully expressing their faith in the Chinese government and the Chinese Communist Party that they contained the virus and stopped it from spreading. He then said, are you seeing the news? Are you serious? He recalled telling his son, doctors and nurses at my hospital are so exhausted that they are on the edge of breaking down and those people look so happy on camera. Are they living in a different universe? Jung Kao's son immediately posted a message on his account along with a picture from the hospital and doctors and nurses sleeping on the chairs in apparent ex exhaustion. I don't care what the CCTV is saying, he wrote, referring to the Chinese state television, but the situation is Wuhan is still dire, desperate, and people are dying around me. The picture was quickly taken down by the government but it is among one of many posts on the Chinese social media in recent days, challenging the official narrative offered by the heavily censored state media. I will link guys all my sources in the description. And if anything comes to this video, I want one thing. I want awareness. I want you to repost this video. I don't care where it is. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, group. Reload it if you need to. This needs to become big. I'm not saying this video, but this cover-up needs to stop. And we, as a people, as a nation, need to help those in dire. I'd like to say thank you for taking your time to watching this video. And I'm really sorry it's a different video that I normally make.
I love you guys. Stay awesome and stay vigilant. I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, kick back, relax, and grab yourself a beverage. A hop if you want to just pass to my liver. It's the evidence, as they say, is in the pudding. So show me the money like my name is Cuba Gooding. It ain't fool's gold.